New York Knicks President Phil Jackson and Lakers President Jeannie Buss have announced they have ended their engagement on Twitter. With mutual love and respect, we have decided to end our engagement, Jackson wrote in a tweet. With the nature of our professional obligations and the geographic distance between us, sustaining the relationship has been difficult. We have shared many wonderful moments through the years, and we expect to remain supportive of each other in the future. Buss also tweeted, adding, nothing but love and respect for this man. At Bill Jackson 11. Jackson, who won 11 NBA titles with the Los Angeles Lakers and Chicago Bulls, proposed to Buss over the Christmas holiday in 2012. Buss, who is also the daughter of Lakers owner Jerry Buss, made the announcement on Twitter and included a picture of her left hand with a diamond ring on her finger. The accompanying tweet read, Twitter family, Phil finally gave me that ring I wanted. Smiley face. I'm beyond happy, she told ESPN.com at the time. The 71-year-old Jackson and 55-year-old Buzz had been dating since 1999, and lived together in Playa del Rey, a beach town near the Lakers headquarters in El Segundo, California. Jackson, whose two previous marriages ended in divorce, has five children and seven grandchildren. ESPN reports that in Buzz 2011 book, Laker Girl, Jackson explained that their courtship began over a vodka gimlet at a dinner after a long day of NBA meetings in Vancouver in 1999 and continued the next day on a flight back to Los Angeles. As the first class passengers were called, I asked if she was going to board the plane, but she said she flew coach, explaining that flying first class wasn't necessary and that the Lakers didn't need the added expense, Jackson writes in the foreword to the book. Let's just say that was the beginning of something special. While the relationship has presented challenges over the years, both personally and professionally, it was always a public one, and had the blessing of Buss father, Lakers owner Dr. Jerry Buss. Insert your own, don't fish off the company peer jokes here, Buss wrote in the introduction to the book. But it is no joke. In an interview with ESPN in November 2011, Buss said of their relationship, if you would have asked me if he was the typical guy I would date, I would have said, never. I didn't see it coming. But he just pulled me over. There was just something about him. Throughout the book, and in subsequent interviews, Buzz has said she assumed Jackson, has been nicknamed the Zen Master, would never want to get married again, and learned to accept that because their relationship, transcended distance and their professional circumstances. After Jackson retired following the 2004 season, she wrote, when Phil and I said our goodbyes as he embarked on his Australia trip, I was subbing, feeling that was the end of our relationship. Phil told me, you have to have confidence in our love. The only confidence I had was drawn from the fact that we had spent so much time together. Still, it was with pure dread that I faced the future. Then a wonderful thing happened. We missed each other. He would call me every day, and it seemed the farther we were apart, the closer we grew to each other. Our love wasn't about the convenience of time and space, but a connection of our hearts. I had never experienced such a complete bond with someone. I knew then that we were going to make it. In 2014, Jackson signed a sign a five-year, $60 million contract to take over the Knicks. He previously coached the Lakers to five NBA crowns after guiding the Michael Jordan-led Chicago Bulls to six crowns in the 1990s. At one point he looked like he might return to coach the Lakers after the disappointing 2012-2013 season. However, the front office went with Mike D'Antoni, putting Buss, the Lakers team president and part owner, in an awkward situation between her fiancé and her brother Jim, the executive vice president of basketball operations for the Lakers.